Hello friends, so in the previous video we I shared uh, the unboxing of the Hermes Light um, HF transceiver. It's a QRP transceiver, puts out about 5 watts. So uh, now I'm going to show you how to put this all together and maybe we will connect it to the computer and see how it goes. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is the main board of the transceiver and this is the filter board. You can see how tiny it is. Uh, it goes all together with uh, this uh, header pins that we have to connect it with. So let us see how that works. Sorry, this. Okay, so if you see, this all goes together like that, and then you have to use this this female headers, which are soldered already. If you can see and I guess you have to connect the one end on this board and the other end And that is how everything goes together and becomes a 5 watt QRP transceiver for full HF bands. It has got all the filters for all the bands that are uh, available on the HF uh, bands 0 to 30 megahertz. And if you can see here, this is a 5 watt. Uh, QRP amplifier and it connects through this uh, gigabit LAN to um, through a switch or maybe directly you can connect it to your laptop or your computer and, and start using it. A lot of people use Raspberry Pis to connect their uh, Hermes light board. It comes with a uh, it, it shows measurements for the SWR and forward and reverse power through this uh, circuit here. And yeah, that is it. Uh, it goes, it, it comes with this uh, box that you have to put it in with a heat spreader for the, sorry. I guess this goes uh, through on the, the tab that you're seeing right now. I'm putting across these two little uh, LDMOS MOSFETs and you have to, yeah, there are screws provided to put it, put this all together. I'm going to try and fix this all together and put it in a box now. Uh, maybe I will use this heat spreader later. later. Uh, this is not uh, really required unless you are going to constantly run the, uh, the like using WSPR all day long um, at full five watts. For general SSB, few contacts if you want to make in, in every hour then this is not really required, but yeah, it's it's good to put it together um, for safety. So let's look at the enclosure now. So it comes with these two plates, one for the front and one for the back. Uh, it, it 
looks really nice with it's a PCB in itself uh, there are some IO um, outputs that you can configure with I guess there is a, a github wiki that is set up that you can use um, to find more information about this but yeah for now I'm just going to put it in the box in this enclosure and see how how it goes so there are one these slots one of these slots you have to use I'm going to use the upper one I'm not sure if that is so this is how it fits you put the top part oh, okay it's the other way around Okay, let me grab a screwdriver real quick okay so there you go The screws are really tiny so yeah don't lose them just carefully you have to mount all of those Oops. Okay, so I think I, I realized that uh, the board needs to be in the bottom most slot of this enclosure to have a perfect fit for these front and back plate. That's when it, it goes perfectly. So that is how it goes together. Okay, perfect so yeah remember to put it in the bottom slot for the first time if you don't want to lose some time on this like me so this is nicely coming along
there is a little play for this ethernet adapter or the connector that's on this uh, board and the main PCB you just have to press it hard so that all of these fits in very well they have also provided one extra screw if you misplace something along the way I believe oh no they're just enough to put this all together there's no extra screw So mind you, I have not put this uh, heat spreader in it just yet. I will put it only if I really need it at a later time. So there you go. It's all connected together. as a unit there is a little little effort that you have to put in to get the whole sdr uh together but for 300 dollars you will not find another high performance sdr like this in the market uh, i will also show you in the next video how to configure this to connect with your computer and get a fully functional software defined radio ready which not just receives but also transmits on the entire hf band and yeah i will i will let you know how to use it uh, so that's it guys uh, this is the hums light hermes light as they call it uh transceiver 12 volts um put it all together Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.